Hey, what's up guys, Paul James here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make money using AdSense and curating content. If you ain't beefing about the money, then what's the problem? But hey, before we get into that video, if you're at all curious about setting up AdSense and making money with it, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, and after you do that, go in the comment section below this video and comment, I've subscribed, and I'll do my best to reply back to you because I just love my new YouTube subscribers and I'm just so happy that you're here. All right, let's not delay any further. Let's get into the video and show you how to get making money with Google AdSense by curating content. All right, guys, so what I actually wanna do is I wanna show you some statistics and some traffic stats for curated content and how I normally use that alone to drive traffic, but I'm gonna show you something that you can do to drive traffic even more insane and make it go viral, uh, which is what we're gonna be talking about in this video. But I want you to take a look at some of these numbers here. Now you can see here uh, the number of unique visitors. It's pretty consistently around 500, between 400 and 500 every month. So let me zoom in on that. Okay, so I just went ahead and zoomed in on that. So pretty consistently between four and 500. Last month we hit almost 1,500. I'm not really sure why, to be honest with you. Um, and then this month we're, we'll probably do a lot better as well uh, because we're already at 300. But anyways, this is the power of curated content. Now what curated content is, it means that you did not write it or come up with the idea yourself. You pulled it from another source but the key is, is you have to credit that source when you pull the content. So this particular site, I've not written a single word for, I've not done any SEO for or anything like that. What happens is the curated content, because you're constantly putting up new content, because you can do that very easily with curation, right? Because you're not having to write stuff. So because I'm constantly putting up new stuff every single day, um, it gets found. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to break down how to build one of these sites with a little bit of a twist to drive even more traffic because we don't want just 400 visitors a month. We wanna do like an insane amount. And I'm gonna show you how you can drive an insane amount of traffic, adding a viral twist to it so that you can make some really great money with Google AdSense, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so a couple of things that you're going to need, which may be kind of obvious, but I wanna break it down anyways, just in case you're gonna need a Google AdSense account. So just go to Google AdSense program and AdSense is basically going to allow you to put little ads on your site. So this is kind of what they look like. You put them on your site and when people click them, uh, you get paid a certain amount of money uh, for every time someone clicks it. So it's free to sign up. Go ahead and sign up for an account. Um, if you've had an account and you've been banned in the past, you know maybe try starting a company or uh, register a fictitious name or doing business as name and register for it that way. Uh, I've heard that that works before. Uh, or just sign up under a different email, maybe use someone else's name. Um, but the way I'm going to show you how to do it is going to be, you know, totally white hat clean, um, so it'll be good for your account. But anyways, you're going to need that. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a website set up. Um, I'm using WordPress, that's what I recommend you use. I've already got WordPress installed, my domain is set up. Uh, hosting is all good to go. Uh, I recommend Bluehost, and I have a separate tutorial on how to set up hosting, how to get WordPress installed. I'm not gonna go through that in this video, but what I will do is I'll leave a link below in the description on how to set all of that up, so a separate video if you don't know how to do that. But basically, we're starting from scratch, 100% scratch. This is the homepage of the site. Now, you kinda need to decide on what niche you're going to go into. I decided that I was unsure, so I'm gonna build uh, just kind of a overall uh, site that could span into different niches because you know my my name is generic. It's life's little tricks, daily stories, and media. So I could really go into whatever niche I want with this, which is kind of nice. But you might see better results if you were to niche down and you know say I'm gonna go after cats or I'm gonna go after. I don't know, uh, gaming or something like that, right? That might provide you with a little more options to monetize because you have a specific audience. But for this example, this is what I'm gonna go with because this is a tutorial and I think it'll, it'll be good demonstration. Okay, so we can't leave this blank default theme on here because we want AdSense ads to show up in good places so that they convert. And what I mean by that is 
We want people to be clicking them and it really does make a big difference on where you place them. So I remember back when I built my first site, it was a site on anatomy and physiology, which was a class I was taking in nursing school. And when I built that site, there were two themes that I was switching back and forth from. And one of the themes converted a lot better than the other one. And it made a big difference in my earnings. Like it was like several hundred dollars every single month different in my earnings just by having that one single theme. So I'm going to give you the theme that I recommend. And I recommend that you, you know, don't cheap out and you go and actually buy this because it's going to make this whole method a whole lot easier than trying to set this all up manually and, you know, having a theme that doesn't convert. So what I'm going to be using is a WordPress uh, software called Omni Engine. So I'm going to go ahead and locate that and install it. So we're going to go to Appearance Themes. We're going to go to Add New. And I'm going to hit Upload Theme and I'm going to upload Omni Engine. All right, so there we go. It said installing theme and theme installed successfully. We're going to go ahead and activate that theme. Okay, so you're going to want to go ahead now, click on your Omni Engine theme, and it's going to prompt you for a license key. So go ahead and enter in your license key. Okay, so now that we've got the license key activated, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually build out the site. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a site logo. Now I have one that I already made in Photoshop. Uh, but if you don't have Photoshop, you could go and you could use a web app called Pixlr to make one, or you could just go to Fiverr and have someone make you one for five bucks. Well, we're just going to use this one. I've got it loaded. Um, I did, uh, you can only see part of it because it's on a white background. And that's because I'm going to use this darker template. Um, so that's the nice part about this theme is it has a couple different templates for me to choose from, but they're all optimized to have AdSense on the, uh, on the actual site. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to go ahead and put your AdSense code in each of these boxes here, uh, which you would pull straight from AdSense and they tell you exactly what size it needs to be. So you can go straight into your AdSense account and grab the exact sizes and throw those in there. Same goes for social media. You can enter in your social media here, your Twitter, uh, YouTube, Instagram, and you should definitely go ahead and add all of that stuff. And then same with Vimeo and the Facebook API key. Uh, because this is the cool part about Omni Engine is that it integrates right within your Facebook uh, account so that you can not only post your content straight to your page, but then you're set up to have a high converting ad, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to add content now that we've built the site. So we'll click add content. And this is the really cool part about Omni Engine is that you can curate content. You don't have to uh, go and write it all yourself. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go for the category all and I'm just gonna select everything and I'm just gonna search for whatever's really just hot right now, whatever is the top. Okay, so here's one right here. I sorted from by Facebook high to low, 25 tweets that'll make anyone who doesn't want kids laugh their butts off. So I'm gonna say, okay, I want that one. So I'm gonna add the image. I'm going to add the title. I'm going to hit read more. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and paste in my content here. All right. So there it is. I'm going to get rid of the unnecessary stuff. Now this is the awesome part about uh, curating content and why I like the software so much. It puts the post source right here at the bottom. Now, if this was more of a text based article, it's nice because it gives you the chance to rewrite it a little bit to make it a little bit more unique. And you may want to rewrite the post title a little bit as well. So we might say 25 tweets are sure to make anyone who doesn't want to have kids hysterically or something we'll say. Okay, cool. So now we can either choose to schedule this post or post it right away. I'm just going to go ahead and post it immediately. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to do this over and over and over again to fill the site up with content. So if you look at the site right now, Obviously, we only have this one post on, so you know it's gonna, the site's going to look blank until we fill everything up. We want to fill the entire site up. So I want to show you what this looks like on a site that has a little bit more content on it so you can get a feel for what the theme looks like. So this is a site that has it all set up already with a ton of content already on it. And you can see here now with the AdSense ads all filled in, um, you know how it all kind of, it kind of all fills out really nicely. Um, so you've got ads on the sidebar here. Uh, if we actually click on the articles themselves, you can see that 
There's AdSense ads at the top here. Here's one here. So they're in really, really good spots and optimized so that you can actually make a lot of money with this. Okay, so on the Get Traffic tab, this is really cool. You connect your Facebook account, uh, which is great. And then now you're able to actually get the article that you want to post and you can actually post it straight to your page and it automatically inserts it all right there. So you can see here how it shows exactly what the campaign name is, how much reach you've got, how much link click, how much click through rate, post engagement. So you can see all of that stuff straight from your dashboard, which is really, really cool. And you can make good decisions on which posts are getting good reactions so that you can continue running those ones or which ones you should kill that aren't getting such great feedback. So if you're interested in monetizing with AdSense and getting an AdSense site set up, this is truly the easiest way that I know of to make it happen without wasting a bunch of time and doing it manually. So I'll leave a link below to Omni Engine if you want to check it out. Uh, otherwise, I'll try and put it on the screen somewhere. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you next time.